Hello everyone, welcome to Cloud Patishala's Knowledge Archives on YouTube. This presentation is to help you master the space of DevOps and SREs on Amazon Web Services. The Cloud Patishala team is here to present you a video series on Amazon Web Services where we would be covering a wide array of topics. Today we would be looking to answer the question whether we could have a million IP addresses in our VPC cider range in AWS. For this, we would be going into the AWS console, into the VPC section. I'll create a VPC and I'll give the VPC the name. I'll have the default tenancy and I'll give the name to this uh, VPC. Once we give the name to this VPC, let's see what is the maximum amount of CIDR range that can be associated with this VPC. We definitely know from our previous videos that a slash 16 is possible. Let's also try to see if we could further increase the range of our VPC. But if you see, uh, the maximum uh, size range that uh, is being allowed on the VPC is from a slash 16 to a slash 28 net mask. So we'll stick with slash 16. A slash 16, uh, if everyone remembers from the cider range video, has 65,000 IP addresses, 65,536 IP addresses, which is something like this so we would have 65,536 ip addresses in a slash 16 side range um, so that answers the question we definitely cannot have a million side ranges but then there's a twist to this story what we could always do is have multiple side ranges assigned to the vpc so if I go to the VPC, uh, if I go to edit CIDR ranges, what I could do is keep adding CIDR ranges to my existing VPC. So as you see, I've added another CIDR range to this existing VPC. In a similar way, I could keep adding more CIDR ranges on this VPC. So as you see, we already have four cider ranges that's equivalent to uh, four times of 65,000 IP addresses. I'll have my fifth cider range assigned to this VPC. And if I go to add the sixth one, uh, I would be getting an error saying that the cider range could not be added because the maximum number of cider ranges that are allowed in a VPC is five. So this is our VPC with uh, 65,000 IPs into 5 side ranges. So that's an equivalent of 3,27,680 IP addresses of which we know that uh, VPC does consume 5 IPs in each subnet that we create. So we would be left with a lot less number of IPs to be used. So this answers a question uh, that a VPC unfortunately cannot support millions of IP addresses but then uh, three like devices uh, in a VPC network is too huge to be managed which I believe no network administrator would like to do well that's it for this video uh, the agenda was to look at the maximum number of cider ranges that are possible in the VPC Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Do share the video with multiple people if you feel this information is worth sharing. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.